Hello again, everybody. Zagatek is here with my TNA Wrestling Review for tonight, February the 16th, 2012. Coming up, Impact tonight, of course, the Aftermath, following the Against the Odds pay-per-view. Tonight's Impact was decent, the first of the post Russo era, because I think Russo wasn't at Impact this night. It's decent. Fading up, getting ready for maybe, maybe leading towards, more towards Lockdown, the April pay-per-view, then March is Victory World. Where it makes sense, because Victory World sucked last year. Especially if hardly that little incident. But maybe a little seed for Victory World's been planted. So, we'll tell you all about that in a moment. But first, let's talk about what started off with Bobby Roode coming out to brag about his victory this past Sunday at the TNA pay-per-view recently against all odds. Uh, Bobby Roode retained the championship with another shortcut. Sting, especially guys in Vorso, is trying to... It kind of reminded me of Shawn Michaels back in 1997. Shawn Michaels was the referee for the Undertaker Bret Hart match. Shawn Michaels was trying to nail Bret Hart. Bret Hart thought Undertaker got the belt. One, two, three. Bret Hart became the new WWE Champion. That was at SummerSlam 97. Fifteen years later, kind of the same incident happened at Teenage Against the Lions. Sting, especially against Enforcer, was trying to aim at Bobby Roode. Roode duck, Hardy got it, and Roode got the victory, with Sting reluctantly giving Roode the 1 2 3. Roode's like, Sting, everything you put me through, I proved time and time again I'm still a champion. Well, here comes Sting, making an impromptu title match Jeff Hardy, Bobby Roode, no DQ, no counter, no time run. Is it just me? Oh, as every Impact post pay per view included an immediate title rematch. Like every, every, for every shortcut Bobby Roode takes to the pay per view, there's a rematch on Impact the next night or a couple days later. Because after the final resolution, he had to defend the title again against AJ Styles after that overtime happened at the Ironman match. Last month, Jeff Hardy got another rematch after getting screwed at Genesis. That was no exception. Following against the large, Jeff Hardy gets another match with Bobby Roode this time in no DQ, no countouts match. No time limit. It was a pretty, pretty vicious no DQ match to begin impact tonight. You know, Jeff Hardy was all over Bobby Roode. He was bent up, getting screwed a lot of times by people like Bully Ray, getting screwed by a lot of people. So Jeff Hardy wanted his last shot to count tonight. He wanted this shot against Bobby Roode. And a proper shot, a no DQ match. He said in the beginning, like a video montage, following against Elias, he said he wants a no DQ, where he got it. What he didn't get was the title. Kurt Angle came out during the match. Kurt Angle's been out for a while with a knee injury. But Kurt Angle returned tonight by visually attacking Jeff Hardy during his match. And like I said, Jeff Hardy was on the rampage. He was destroying Bobby Roode outside the ring. He was destroying Roode. He was close once again to getting a DNA title. But, like I said, Kurt Angle came out, attacked Jeff Hardy, and once again, Bobby Roode, the opportunist, picked up the pieces, speared, or gored, whatever you want to call it, the hell out of Hardy, one, two, three, Bobby Roode retains the TNA Championship, another shortcut victory for Bobby Roode. Now, Bobby Roode may not have to think about cheating long, because he's got another title shot, another title defense, I'll tell you about that in a moment, but Roode retains thanks to Kurt Angle, we don't know what's up with Angle. I smell Angle Hardy for you. I'm guessing Angle. Possible victory world matches could be made. We got a lockdown match made, but two possible victory world matches may be made, or at least the seeds planted. With Angle's return tonight, we'll see if Angle wants to take out Hardy now. So, probably a possible Angle Hardy feud, which will lead towards victory world, but we'll see how the weeks progress with. Angle and Hardy, if the fail, few develops after next week. Now, on with our second match of the evening, which was number one contender, Zima Iron, for the X Division Championship, teaming up with the X Division Champion, Austin Aries, in a tag team match against Alex Shelley, the man who lost to Austin Aries this past Sunday. And the guy who lost the TV title. And a pump to match with Bobby E this past Sunday. A man without a tag team partner like Alex Shannon Moore. Now, before I talk about this match, 
best wishes go out to Jesse Sorensen. Of course, he got a neck injury this past Sunday because I didn't watch the pay-per-view. Saw the clip they played of Jesse Sorensen's knee, uh, neck injury following his match against Zima Iron Man. That was sad. And Jesse has a, I've said on my shows, Jesse Sorensen had a bright future. I hope he comes back well. But neck injuries are tough. Especially to be out for a long, very long time. Almost a year. So, hope Jesse Sorensen, speedy recovery to you. Hope he comes back stronger than ever. Best wishes to you. Now, on to the match at hand. These are Activision Ancient. Alex Shelley wanting payback for losing to Austin Aries this past Sunday at the pay per view. I smell another match. Who knows? For them after Zima Iron gets done with them. And blind tags in and out by Zima Iron, who uh, basically stole the victory from Austin Aries. Austin Aries was beating the crap out of Alex Shelley. And basically, Austin did all the dirty work. And he was about to steal the victory, but Zima Iron tagged himself in, got himself a roll up, and got the win, stealing a victory from Austin Aries. Yes, the team won, but Zima Iron won, sending a message to the Tina X Division champion. And I'm guessing that could be a possible victory world match. But we'll see how that fails out. See what happens with them two down the road. But we all know Zima Iron will get another shot at Austin Aries for the Tina. Exhibition Championship. I know uh, Zima Iron had. A, I know he had like a series of matches with another guy and did get a shot against Austin, but lost the first time. We'll see what happens this time when Zima getting another shot against Austin down the road. Now, on our next match, we got like we got two number one contenders matches tonight. A main event: Sting made this match following the Hardy Wood match. James Storm against Bully Ray, number one contenders match, will be our main event tonight. Before we found out that number one contender, we had a number one contendership battle royal for the TNA Knockouts Championship. It was Madison Wayne, Tara, Miss Tassmarker, Velvet, Renner, Angelina, Serena, Rosita, Tara, and Miss Tassmarker in a battle royale. Typical battle royale, we don't need to explain there's not much action in Battle Royale. It's basically women eliminating each other. Uh, there was okay Battle Royale. The final four was Angie, Tara, Sarita, and Velvet. And it was down to Velvet and Sarita. And the final two. Velvet won. However, Madison Wayne. Madison Wayne is a part of this matchup. There must be some problems with Madison and Gay after what happened. You know, there's some problems with. Gare and Madison, I can't really tell, but but Madison came out. She was part of this matchup with Gare. Uh, with Gale. she was not part of the match at first. She was outside the ring watching the match with Gale. But when Velvet thought she won, Madison, who wasn't officially in the match, wasn't in the ring at all. She came in the ring, eliminated Velvet. So that means Madison Rain is now the new number one contender for the Team Knockouts Champion. That means. She has to face off against her knockouts tag team partner, Gail Kim. Apparently, there's some tension between them two. Almost forgot Old DB was in the match. I'm sorry. The match Old DB was in the match as well. She had a little Valentine from uh, Eric Young. But anyway, Madison Wayne wasn't officially in the match, but came in after Velvet thought she had won. And Madison eliminated Velvet. Like I said, Madison will take on Gail. I'm guessing victory will, but we don't know. So there. You go. Madison Wayne, your new knockouts, number one contender. Now, on, before we get to the number one contenders for the one title, you know, Eric Bischoff came out, blah, about Gunner's victory over Garrett, blah, 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 blah. Just champagne party. With, I thought that was, like, the girl Ric Flair was with. That kind of looked like Chelsea Wolf, the former Chelsea Wolf with uh, Desmond Wolf. What happened to him? <laughs> but we don't need to discuss that. Basically, celebration. A celebration was in store for whoever would win a number one contendership match for the world title. James Storm against Bully Ray. And this main event was decent. Bully Ray was on fire, dominating. He took off, basically he took off the entire left leg of James Storm. James Storm's foot was bogging him and Bully Ray took that advantage. He went for the knee, he took his boot off, he took his knee pad off. Literally, beat the hell out of James Storm's knee, especially... To avoid that last call super kick. So Bully Ray was dominating most of the match. But James Storm put out a courageous comeback. 
with only one good knee, one good foot. He did nail the last call super kick for the victory. That means James Storm will be our next number one contender in a one on one match against Bobby Wood. He was in a fatal four way with Bully and Hardy and Wood this past Sunday, but it is James Storm's first proper one on one rematch. He did have a rematch against Bobby Wood because Bobby Wood defeated him for the TNA World title back in October. But the proper rematch didn't really take place because Kurt Angle attacked him before the matchup. So this is James' first proper rematch for the TNA title against Bobby Roode. And like I said, the segment before this was a celebration for Gunner. It was a celebration for James. He had beer. Drinking beer. He had two beers. He had an extra beer for Brandon Jacobs, who was in a crowd throughout the evening. He's, of course, one part of the Super Bowl champions, New York Giants. Giants suck. Anyway, pssst. Well, Eli Manning sucks. But anyway, Brandon Jacobs was celebrating alongside James Storm when Bully Ray came up from behind, cheap shot at James Storm, and eyed down Brendan Jacobs. It's kind of weird. Because Bully Ray says he's from Hell's Kitchen in New York. But he was staring down a New York Giant, so he took Brendan's beer. Brendan hadn't taken drinking his beer yet that he got from James Storm. So Billy Ray grabbed the beer, drank it up, and I I predicted why on the money. I said Billy's when I saw Billy Ray gulp it, I was like, he's gonna spit at him. Well he did. He spat at Brendan Jacobs. Then Brendan shoved down Billy Ray. It was gonna wait to punch him out some more, but the TNA agents, Al Snow, D Lo Brown, Simon Diamond, all them guys surrounded Brendan and made him not attack Billy Ray again. So apparently, James Storm and Brendan will have more in store for Billy Ray next week because they take these impacts two days in a row. So next week's impact, Brendan will be there too. Speaking of next week's impact, we found out that the TNA World Champion, Tag Team Champion, Magnus and Samoa Joe will have to be in a Wii match against Mag uh, against Crimson and Matt Morgan. Of course, Magnus and Joe became new tag team champions this past Sunday, and against the last rematch is next week. I think Crimson and Magnus, I mean Magnus and Joe, are giving a great kick in the ass to the tag team division with not a lot of teams out there now. Magnus and Joe are gonna be decent champions, big champions. We'll see what happens in the rematch next week against Morgan and Crimson. Now on to the business at hand. We're going to find out when James Storm will get a shot. Will it be next week going to impact this well? But apparently it won't be next week because James Storm will have unfinished business with Billy Ray with a little help from Brendan Jacobs. So then Sting came out after that and announced that James Storm will be taking on Bobby Roode. And the only match that Bobby Roode had no chance of cheating on him. Lockdown. Yes, the Lockdown World title match has been made. Bobby Roode will defend the title against James Storm. Who he'll face at Victory Road. I can guess. Sting. After the announcement, Bobby Roode was there face to face with Sting. When Sting made the announcement that it would be Bobby Roode against Storm at lockdown, Billy Ray gave a low blow to Sting, beat the crap out of Sting, tacked him, nailed him with the title, made him bleed a little bit. And we've seen problems with Storm, with Bobby Roode and Sting ever since Storm be uh, Roode became champion. He's been anti authority against Sting. And judging from the promo videos for Victory Road, I can sense that Sting will be involved not just in a management role, but in a wrestling role. So, since Bobby Roode won't have to defend his title against, until lockdown against James Storm, I'm guessing Sting will probably make a non-title match, Roode against Sting, at, lock, at the next pay-per-view, Victory Road. Hopefully it won't be less than two minutes this time, Sting, like he did to Jeff Hardy in last year's Victory Road. That's what I'm guessing. That Sting will face up against Wood at Victory Road. Non title, of course, because now it's been signed Wood Storm at Lockdown in Nashville in April. Was it April 15th? Yeah, April 15th, Lockdown. So there you go. Lockdown main event's been made. Wood and Storm. So uh, that is an okay impact tonight. A little bit more towards Lockdown. But possible situations for Victory World, though. May see a possible Hardy Ingle match at Victory World or Lockdown, maybe, as well. We saw Madison Wayne become the new number one contender for Gail Kim's title. Possibly Victory World as well. And maybe Sting and Woot. 
at Victory Road. Who knows? We'll see what happens next week. As uh, no next week now, Storm wants revenge on Bully Ray with Brendan Jacobs, and a tag team title match will be next week. Magnus and Jones defending the rematch against Crimson and Bad Morgan. That is it for my TNA review for tonight. Uh, I think, like I said, I'll see OK Impact tonight. I'll see you all later. With that in mind, you've been attacked by the review from Zach. Thank you for watching. See you all later. Have a good night. Yeah.